guys and welcome to my channel and today we are doing the renovation challenge so in case you guys missed the last renovation challenge video I did um, essentially this is a challenge I created it goes through um, my twitch platform for the most part um, on there we tour the houses we build the houses all that kind of good stuff um, I'm putting this out here so we can get uh, some more participants it's a lot of fun um, Essentially, I build a house, we furnish it some, and then I give you guys some rules on how to renovate it, what you have to do to it, and what has to change about this house. Because I've seen furnace challenges, I've seen shell challenges, I've seen um, just like basic build challenges, and I'm like, that, that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> I really love doing renovations. I really enjoy taking a home especially because I think that's part of the play style that I like is I like having a family that is working towards building up their home building up their wealth this way their house can slowly grow and grow and grow and grow that was one of my favorite things about us doing the 100 baby challenge to be honest was the fact that we had a house and we were constantly renovating it it was amazing so that's part of the reason how the renovation challenge came to be. We've been doing them now for like six months on Twitch. Um, so I'm really excited to especially be sharing them with you guys now here on YouTube. I hope you guys have a blast with them. If you do, make sure you at me on Twitter or uh, post a comment on the original one. We'll definitely be checking them out. And as long as you use the hashtag, I'll be able to look it up. I'll be able to find it and we will tour it live on Twitch, which is uh, twitch.tv slash jasmine sim and of course the link is right down below so in case you are uh, wondering you can go straight there and it'll pop you right over and make sure you hit that follow button this way you know when we go live so the date that is in the hashtag is always a day that we will do it so this time it is february 24th you have one month well it's slightly less than a month um, essentially four weeks to get the uh, renovation done, get it uploaded, and then we start touring them on the 24th. So definitely make sure you get your entries in. I love seeing everybody's different creations. So anyway, so this month, because it was inspired by our um, random legacy challenge, um, it was inspired by that because the um, couple that we have went out and they went on a vacation to, oh my goodness, we talked about it. Oh my God. Uh, outdoor retreat, uh, I cannot remember. Granite Falls. We went to Granite Falls. This way they could go, they could have a relation, they could have like a, um, I was gonna say a relationship, but they have a relationship. What I was trying to say is that so they could have a vacation and elope, but apparently you can't elope while you're on vacation, which is, I'm sorry, it's dumb. And I am sorry, we totally had forgotten to play test it. We did not have a sim move into the house. So I do not know if that table is 100% usable. That's about the only thing I'd really be questioning if they can or can't use it, is just if they can use the back chairs at that table. So, um, otherwise everything else should be just fine. So, um, but I love this. It does qualify as a tiny home. So in case you just happen to like kind of like the cabininess of it and you just want to download and use in your regular home as a tiny home, you are more than welcome to do that. I think it counts as like 98 tiles. So I mean, it's not like tiny. It's a small home, technically, according to The Sims. Um, <laughs> hey, that's the one thing I really like about um, the fact that we got tiny living is we really have a idea of what is actually classified as a tiny home in the sims 4 because i kind of wondered that i'm like what 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 qualifies as a tiny home i think almost every single tiny home i have on my um gallery counts as either a tiny home or it counts as a micro home i don't think i have anything that's between like that's classified as a small home so in case you're interested you can also check out my gallery id jasmine's sim again linked right down below um it uh all of those will qualify. So if you're interested in a tiny home, of course, I'm not I'm not 100% sure if all of them have hashtag tiny home, but <laughs> um, I really enjoy how this little cabin turned out. It's super cute. Um, so I'm gonna go over the rules real, real quick um, as soon as I can get them here. Ah, so for this, you have to add two plus activities. So you either have to add in like workout equipment or you have to add in like a logic table or, you know, kind of stuff like that. 
anything, I pretty much almost anything from the activities and skills will count, except for like gardening, um, a computer. That's that that kind of stuff doesn't doesn't really count. <laughs> um, but anyway, then you have to add a room, and it needs this home needs to sleep four. So regardless of how you have it set up, this home needs to officially sleep four. The couch does not count, so it has to be either two single beds or it has to be. Um, uh, another double bed. It could even be a toddler bed and a single bed. Or if you want to have it to sleep five, you can have it do another double and then have a uh, toddler bed. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, you need to add a wedding area and arch. So just any area in the home that you wish to have like a wedding arch type thing. Again, you can't use it to elope, which really bothers me way more than it should, to be honest. But we got to do what we got to do. So I believe this house was classified as being 26,000. Um, so it's a little bit outside the price range of a starter home. Like we're like right there at a starter home. So if you want to get your Sims like a couple extra thousand, then they could totally qualify for this house. Um, but as you renovate it, the maximum budget for this house is 40,000. And that is per the gallery is what the cost is. Not that little eye with the house on it um, because that includes the lot value. Um, so we go strictly based off of the um, gallery price. So whatever the gallery price says it is. Um, so if you have to upload it and then take it down and, you know, change out. Um, whenever you hit that little um, button at the top to upload, it'll automatically tell you what price it is. So just keep that in mind. Um, we're doing just some screenshots at the end here to show you exactly what the house looked like. Um, Kind of got some weird angles because we I totally had forgotten to get a sim in the house. I totally had forgotten to do so. So I kind of did like some cheater kind of screenshots. But uh, <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this house. I hope you download it. I hope you participate. I love seeing everybody's builds. So make sure that you come and check us out on Twitch. This way you can see your home. Your home. I was trying to combine home and house um, into one. So here's the outside. It will go through each of kind of the rooms. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up right here, guys. Definitely leave your comments, feedback, and suggestions all down below. I hope you guys enjoy participating in the renovation challenge. And all my social media is in that description box below, including Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And, of course, we're live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This way you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Make sure you check out the videos listed right here on the screen. I mean, who knows? It could be your next favorite. And to make sure you don't miss any videos, if you hit that subscribe button right there in the center, it'll sign you up for notifications. Come on. Hit that subscribe button. It'd mean the world to me.